Last thing I want to look at is graphing polar equations. In particular, I'm focusing on circles. All right. What I want you to see is that if you know that r is a number, what that's telling you is that your radius is a particular value, and it's always that value. If r is 3, that means our radius is 3. And that creates a circle. Sorry, my circle's not that good, but it's a circle. And this circle has a radius of 3. So that should be pretty easy. If you have you, you see r equals 3, that tells you to create a circle with a radius of 3, and it's centered at the origin. So radius is 3, center is 0, 0. Well, let's complicate this a little bit more. Let's say r equals 2 times cosine theta. If r equals 2 times cosine theta, this is telling us a couple of things. It's also going to create a circle. But what this does, and we could plot some points to figure this out. Let's give ourselves a plane first. There we go. The cool thing about this is if it's cosine, your circle is either going to be to the left or the right of the origin, because cosine is a horizontal distance. If the 2 is positive, it means we're going from 0 to positive 2. And if it's cosine, then that's about the x-axis, and there's your circle. So this circle has a radius of 2, I'm sorry, a radius of 1, diameter of 2, and a center at 1, 0. Well, let's look at what happens with sine. Let's say we're looking at r equals negative 5 sine theta. Because it's sine, instead of being centered around the x-axis, our circle ends up around the y-axis. And because it's negative, we're going to go from 0 down to negative 5. So this circle has a radius of 2.5. We just take negative 5, divide by 2. And it has a center at 0, comma, negative 2.5. These are three basic circle equations we're going to look at. A circle that's centered about the origin, where r is just a value. A circle with cosine, which is either going to be on, it's going to be somewhere on the x-axis. And the radius is always half of this number up front. or an equation with sine, which is going to be centered around the y-axis. And again, the radius is half of that number up front.